take a look around. Everybody here is eating, drinking, having a good time, and it seems like every one of them knows Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. How are you? Jeff and I go way back. I'm good. How are you? We went to high school together. Jeff is the best. Jeff, nice to see you again. Well, he's a great host. He does a really nice job making sure everybody's happy. Uh, I want to check in and see how you guys are doing. This is a guy who, who loves the food, he loves the vibe, and he loves the people. Are you gentlemen behaving at my bar? Do we, do we order yet? I personally call him the local mayor. He loves this city this town. A lot of people know him and they definitely come here looking for that personal interaction, which is nice because he is here seven days a week. And since Jeff was born and raised in Waltham, it's no surprise that everyone seems to know his name at his restaurant, Bistro 781. Everybody comes in and says, oh, I know Jeff, or I know Jeff, I've seen Jeff here, or we went to high school together, or went to elementary school together, or parents of friends. It's kind of crazy, but it, it works too, so it's a good thing, not a bad thing. <laughs> Located on Moody Street, Bistro 781 is a lively spot where families can gather and eat in the comfortable dining room, and folks out for a night on the town can sip on craft cocktails at the energetic bar. You'll always find owner Jeff Abelard out front working the room, while executive chef Jason Duffy works some culinary magic in the kitchen, with a menu that has everything from big bowls of pasta and crispy flatbreads to creative spins on sushi. There are snacks including truffle chips, fried pickles, soft pretzel bites, and beef jerky, all perfect to nosh on while you wait for your meal. And for something to share, order Jeff's personal favorite, the nachos. He was insistent upon nachos from the beginning, and I have to agree that he was right. They are delicious, they're awesome, they're huge, and they sell like crazy. When Chef Jason was creating this dish, Jeff had only one request. They had to be big. The servers always tell me that every time it gets put down on the table in front of someone, they are just, oh my God, I didn't realize what I'd ordered, and this is awesome. Other apps include indulgent mac and cheese spiked with spicy chorizo, fiery wings slathered in hot sauce, steak and cheese egg rolls, and a British-Japanese fusion dish known as the fish and chips sushi roll. It is all the elements of a fish and chips. It's got your cod, it's got your potato, it's got pickled cabbage and carrot on the inside, then rolled in sushi rice and dipped in beer batter, and the whole thing is fried and then sliced with some tartar sauce for dipping. When it comes to burgers, there's no mistaking 781s served on a branded English muffin. That is actually uh, due to my mom. Growing up, we'd often have like family night burgers and it was just on an English muffin. It was delicious then and it's delicious now. Well, I think people kind of get a kick out of it being an English muffin. It's a different texture, it's a different taste, it's a different look of the burger, so people really enjoy it. Instead of doing our burgers on the grill, do them on the griddle. They're actually seared in bacon fat, goes on the English muffin with lettuce, tomato, onion, and what we call a zesty remoulade. It tastes like heaven. When it came to the entree section of the menu, Jeff insisted on serving steak. I'm a big steak guy, so we have a 10 ounce sirloin, which is delicious. It's absolutely magnificent. Served with Yukon gold and goat cheese au gratin and a red wine reduction, this steak really is a cut above. I'd put this steak up against any Boston City Steakhouse, without a doubt. It's that good. If short ribs are your thing, Bistro 781 offers them in two styles. You can get them slow cooked and fork tender, smothered in barbecue sauce and served over smoked cheddar fondue with broccoli rob. Or there's the less traditional grilled Korean barbecue short rib. The Korean style that we've been serving is not braised. It's just marinated for 48 hours and then grilled off like a steak tip. And then it is topped with a a Korean barbecue sauce that we make from scratch. It's just a nice, tender, but not fall apart piece of meat. And at the end of the day, for Jeff and his team, there's simply no place like home at Bistro 781. There's a lot to be said for being able to come home and run a business and open a business. There's a there's a gratification to it that I don't think is unparalleled, that you don't think you can match with doing anything else. You see so many faces that you've seen growing up and you've seen people grow, people have seen you grow. It's just an amazing feeling.